Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 86, but the Spectrum version was developed by Real Time Games, who did Star Strike and Star Strike 2. So, therefore, I'm assuming the Amstrad version as well, because that is clearly a port of this. Quite well received back in the day, uh, but mainly thanks to the 16 um, bit versions being on Get Fresh at the weekend or whatever show had the Millennium Dustbin. I know I keep repeating that, but I just thought you should be aware of that fact that this is the first one you've watched. The magazines lauded this and all said it was great. To be perfectly honest, from what I've experienced so far, I would say that 3D Star Strike is a far more enjoyable game. Alright, game, alright. Uh, two. Define controls. Right, so we're going to go with default controls. Uh, fire. Laser, space, up, Q, A, down, O, left, P, right, X, accelerate, Z, decelerate, launch missile, L, uh, and super missile and rear scatter. You, you do not have either of those at the moment. Am I right in thinking that this was 14 quid? It can't be. But it is uh, possibly very quite likely. Uh, there is a sequel, Star Glider 2, which I have downloaded and I've had a very quick gameplay of, and it seems a lot more complex and trying to do stuff a little bit more, I don't know, innovative and expanded in scope than this. I had to download a, an instruction manual for the keys. I might play that, I might not, uh, because I had a quick go at playing it when I knew what the keys were, and I, well, couldn't play it. But yeah, I figured we'd end on the ZX Spectrum version of this. See which one is the best of all the 8-bits. I'm going to assume it's this. Not just because I'm a specky fanboy, but because the Commodore 64 version was pants. Change these keys. Uh, no. Right, so, uh, enter to start game. Right, so, oh, start glider immediately. Right, bottom right-hand corner. See that white thing going up? That is... Ooh. My speed. Apparently you shoot these and you go to the next level. They take an absolute battering though. I want to get closer. I've got to look down though to do my missile. Speech! It just is uncontrollable on this as they are in all the other versions. It's got a much higher frame rate in both the other eight bit versions but it's still not majestic shall we say I don't actually have do I have I don't know tell me like how much time I've left on my missile as I always say if you love seeing this on get fresh at the weekend or whatever the show was with Gilbert the alien then I guess you would have been happy to play this in its 8-bit form and it's a competent port of a game that's not particularly amazing on those versions it doesn't look particularly much better, to be fair, just a bit sharp and with a higher frame rate, but a frame rate nonetheless is still not amazeable. Slow down. Slow down. So yeah, we're on the planet, I don't know, something beginning with N, it's in the novella that came with the, the game, and we egg, have to destroy the egg rolls, the egg rolls, the spring rolls, I don't know. Ooh, what's this? Warning, mine detected. I do like the fact that when they fire, or he fires, you get this effect. It's kind of cool. But if I'm perfectly honest, Star Strike 1 is more enjoyable than this. Not necessarily Star Strike 2 because that's got a shit frame rate and it's quite limited. Star Strike 1 is essentially their knockoff version of Star Wars Arcade. And I would argue that it's probably better than Domark's Star Wars Arcade because it's smoother. And it has sound effects right off the bat. 
it didn't on the spectrum for some reason, but it's a 40k. There we go. That's clearly stolen from Star Wars. But yeah, it's not me being overly negative on this. Speed up. Where has he gone? It's just. It's more style over substance, to be fair. I mean, it clearly is a homage to Star Wars Arcade, the Tower Star Wars Arcade, because the guy who wrote it loved that. Only got one missile as well. And. I've got an itchy face. Slow down. Slow down again. I mean, well, four, five vectors on the screen at once. It's really pushing it. Also, it's a, this is the 128K version. The 48K version has more cut down. Assuming it doesn't have speech and or music, but let's be fair, you're not really going to miss either of those, are you? What's that thing moving across the floor? I just got to keep following the star glider until he eventually dies out of courtesy. Because he's going to be rude if he's not. Now I've put this much time. <laughs> also, and the Amstrad version does it, so that's definitely a port of this, but it's not optimised. Um, that flashing around the outside of the screen. Not fan! Not fan on any computer. Let's speed up again. Alright, thanks for that. Did something? No, it was a yellow ship in the background. I thought something flew off him. We'll speed up. So I just ran him. Because I'm going to die, aren't I? Where's the mine? Shield depleted! Agav destroyed. Yeah. Uh, I did take a star glider down on the Amstrad CPC version, but that's because the frame rate's so bad, it's really easy to launch missiles at it. Let's speed up. Right. I can't hold fire at the same time because I want to use. I want to try and launch a missile. And essentially, we're going to have to go round and speed for that. Bastard. See? I'm right upon him. I'm right upon him. And I launched the missile and it fucking flies back about a quarter of a mile. I call ball. Shit. Oh, there is a range. It's in the bottom right-hand corner. That's fucking bollocks, that is. Also, the walkers in this look like shit compared to how they look in Empire, which I do need to do a gameplay of at some point because... I've just realised that while I have a comparison of it on the Commodore 64 versus ZX Spectrum for my comparison playlist, I don't actually have a gameplay about just on the ZX Spectrum, which I need to do, because I'm, well, I've got OCD and I'm a completionist, to put in my um, ZX Spectrum arcade port playlist. Yeah. But this is just underwhelming. I mean, it's got more and more underwhelming the more versions that I have played. So at this point, to be fair, it's not entirely its fault, but I would say, and you can call me a fanboy and all that shit, that this is the best 8-bit version. I'm not saying it's going Harry Clappers with the frame rate or anything. But let's be honest, a corpse has more of a frame rate than the fucking Gobble 64 version, and the Amstrad has a worse frame rate than this, but not massively, and only because it's a non-optimised port of this, I'm going to assume. Can you even destroy these just with the irregular lasers? Don't know. Slow down. Why do you only give me one missile? I mean, I can. I, is it the green things? I don't know. I'm not really paying attention to what's on the floor. But I can replay my shields and my lasers. Because I will run out of lasers at some point. Also, we're in a spaceship in the future and you didn't equip me with a lock on. Oh, budget requirements or something. You don't do the budget, Terry. I do. Oh, come on. I could have hit him from there, couldn't I? Oh, there we go. But do I have to... Right. Oh, my shield's bottom left and it's about to go. Do I have to line up? I don't know where he's gone. With the door looking things on the back. No, that, yeah. I don't know. Why are you rotating, mate? 
And it's not cricket. Right, this is as slow as I can go. Oh, he's not green. He just goes green because of attribute class from my uh, my crosshair goes over him. Right, I've chucked on my brakes. Come on. No way. So maybe that's not the docking base. I'm not going to lie. You don't have to tell me because my patience, now that I, and I had to pay this on every version, but my patience right now is just worn thin and this is just a lukewarm gaming experience. But I am going to have a look at some more vector graphic games on the Spectrum because it did it quite well. Although I downloaded Elite and it is the 128K version uh, and I found a keyboard overlay which obviously won't work on my, my uh, modern, all right thanks though, keyboard if you will, but I just I couldn't get the controls to work. I might have a pop at Starion though. So why is accelerate X and not Z? And Z should be an X. Sorry, should be Z should be right. Z should be accelerate and X should be decelerate, not the other way around. Game. Just saying. But yeah, this is just underwhelming. Style over substance. Everyone lost their shit for because it was on a TV show back in the day, even though that was the 16-bit version, which is not particularly far more polished than this version, as I previously mentioned. Right. Got it. Oh, come on. Shield destroyed. A gap destroyed. Don't care. One more go. Do we always start with the star glider right in front of us? I have to look at my keys then. He says that and he still lost him. Slow down a little bit. There we go. I know it'll take two rockets. I may as well fire one here. Look at him taking evasive action. Okay, that was kind of cool. I haven't seen that before. Right, I'm just concentrating on getting right up close. Drop the gas a little. It's not inverted, which is a bit of a pain. Drop the gas a little bit more. Why am I saying gas? I'm English. Don't know. Got an itchy ear. Bollocks! Speed up a little bit more. There we go. See, I'm dead on. But I'm not going to launch it. Get in there, you bastard! And he's flashing. In for the kill, I feel. I suspect this isn't going to be enough. Also, I'm looking at my health rapidly depleting. Again, who set spawn for fucking battle shit? To save the universe with one fucking missile. The fucking armed forces under a Labour Socialist government. It's just not going to happen, is it? I mean... I'm pretty sure I know what everyone thinks from my last two videos on this, and you know what I think, because it's outworn it's welcome, because I've played so much of it. Now, uh, recommend any of the Vector games to me, by all means. Shall I play Star Glider 2? But, yeah, if you had this on the Spectrum back in the day, I would love to know what you think, but, I mean, our expectations and standards were on the far lower back then, and we were just blinded by stuff on TV, but, as an adult, this is pants, and I would play Star Wars and Empire Strikes Back and 3D Star Strike and fuck it, even Star Strike 2, which is just Star Strike 2 and not 3D Star Trek, over this any day of the bloody week. Star Glide is cool, I'll give him that, because he's flapping his wings and shit. I could take him out with my fucking pellet gun. My spaceship, my agav, or gav, or gay, or what, a gay, a guy? Is it a Y or a V at the end? I don't know what it is, but it's pretty fucking shit, isn't it? It's clearly the 1.1L, no GL model. It's probably got a choke as well and only four fucking speeds. Come on. 
on. Oh. Some more indication of him taking a kick in would be quite nice. I just press L in case I regenerated a fucking rocket. Desperation, I believe, is the term. Also, the speech is awful. The spectrum, the spe a spectrum, the spectrum could do way better speech than that. But however, there is a chance in his old school vector game, so I'll just focus on that. There you go, shield depleted. What is it? It's an agave, is it? Yeah, uh, Star Glider on the ZX Spectrum. Let me know if you want to play the sequel, but yeah, this game is just meh, to be fair. This game is just... Yeah. As is its music. What is that? Someone on a typewriter having a fit. Anyway, it's always a love to know what especially if you play this back in there. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.